Hello, everybody. Tom Nappy here, and we are joined by Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey Head Coach Scott Hayes. Scott, how's it going? Excellent, Tom. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, so it's it's been a tremendous season, a very fun team to follow this year. Could you talk about what it's been like coaching this group and uh, your success that you've had uh, this season and uh, what what you're uh, looking forward to next? I know we got the playoffs coming up. Are there any goals this season? Yeah, I think that, you know, to start off, the, the season's been incredible. It's a, you know, it's all about the group of kids that we have and not just their skill level on the on the ice, but you know the uh, the level of character that we have in the locker room is outstanding. The bond that the boys have, you know, is extremely tight, and I think that all those things have have had a you know a big hand in how successful we've been. You know, looking forward, I think that we've been on a trajectory where we feel like we're playing our best hockey of the year, and this is the perfect time of the season to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, this season you got uh, Pavit Mera back and he has been the lead scorer on the team. Can you talk about his uh, contributions this season? Well, Pavit's incredible. I mean, he's an, he's an amazing talent that, you know, you just, you don't see on the ice, um, you know, that often. I, I think that he's really risen to, you know, probably the top player in the TVL. Um, you know, he certainly gets my vote. He's been outstanding for us. He plays in every situation and the frequency with which, you know, he puts the puck in the net and, you know, and touches the score sheet on a nightly basis is, is amazing. Absolutely. So much fun to watch. And he has my vote too, for best player of the TVL. Uh, you got some great freshmen on the team as well in James Hayward, Nolan Iarichi, Cam McPherson, and uh, Jack Resnick. And these are guys that have gotten more and more playing time as the season has gone on, and they seem like they're going to be great contributors for years to come. Can you talk about the freshmen on the roster? Yeah, I mean, nothing makes me happier than than having a strong freshman class. You know, the prospect of having a kid for four years and they come in their first year and they're ready to contribute at the varsity level is you know, it's, it's a coach's dream, if you want to put it that way. Um, you know, the boys, I tell those four that, you know, they've been pushing my buttons in all the right ways. Um, you know, they've earned every minute of ice time. Some of these guys, you know, maybe they, they probably deserved more. But given our roster and, and what we had to work with this year, you know, it didn't always work out that way. But we certainly, because of their play, we had to work for, you know, to find them ice time. And they've played valuable, valuable minutes for us. Absolutely. They have been uh, terrific this season and I'm sure going to be big contributors uh, over the next few seasons. Uh, you've had some tremendous goaltending uh, from Jack Lang and it kind of goes unnoticed sometimes because it's such a high scoring team in a lot of games. But can you talk about the uh, performance of Jack Lang? Absolutely. I mean, Jack's been amazing for us this year. I don't I don't think it could go unnoticed if you look at some of the numbers that I have over the past few days. You know, he's got a 2.05 um, goals against average, which is incredible. He has seven shutouts this season in 20 games. Six of them came in the league. So he has six TVL shutouts. And Jack's been steady for us. And, you know, he's really been our anchor. And uh, you just had the uh, Martha's uh, Vineyard uh, Tournament. Uh, how did that go? It looks like uh, another uh, great year for the Hillers over at Martha's Vineyard. Yeah, we were, you know, we were certainly excited for the opportunity we got to play Linfield in the opening round. Um, you know, like I said, I said earlier, the boys played great hockey and it was a full 45 minute effort. I thought against Linfield, we might have taken our foot off the gas a little bit in the third period when we felt good about ourselves. But, you know, always learning lessons and, uh, and you know, building towards a team that, that knows how to win. I thought that we corrected those mistakes on Saturday and it was a dominant effort, you know, five, nothing over the host market. Dream. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, I'm sure it's always a uh, good preparation going into the postseason, having that towards the end of the season and talking about going into the postseason. I uh, saw that you added a scrimmage against uh, St. John's and, it won't count for anything, I believe, uh, for the season, but uh, a great team to scrimmage. Uh, 
Is that just uh, to get the team ready to get them in postseason mode, scheduling a great team like that for a scrimmage? Yeah, well, 100%. I mean, I think that if we're going to go in the state tournament, you know, as far as we'd like to go, we're going to have to beat some incredible teams. And I think that your scrimmage opponent this week leading up to the tournament is is very important. I think the pace that St. John's will put on the ice is – you're going to help us tremendously get prepared for our, you know, for our first and, you know, further round games. And lastly, coach, I'm going to throw you in the fire a bit. Uh, is there any player on the roster off the top of your head that has really surprised you this season that has just uh, come a long way and maybe you didn't expect it? I might, I probably should have Tom, but I didn't know much about him. I would say that Dylan Manser has been an amazing player for us this year. You know, he's incredible when it comes to shutdown defense. I don't know if he got beat in a one-on-one situation all season long, but when he has the puck, he can really push the pace, whether it's that first pass on the breakout or he decides, decides to take it up the ice. We talk a lot about, you know, entering the offensive zone, you know, with possession and we want to control the puck. And when Dylan's on the ice, he gives us an absolute weapon that we're able to do that. Yeah, I can recall uh, one shot he had from the blue line. Uh, that was a goal. It was just unbelievable. Uh, a lightning shot. Uh, well, Coach, uh, we're looking forward to the playoffs. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us, and hopefully it'll be a deep postseason run. So too, Tom. Thank you so much, and we appreciate all your awesome coverage all season long. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach.